Here, I already have a sample project from the previous lesson. I will save it as a new project. Open the home screen to start designing. Create a button named on. Copy and create a new button named off. Use a circle shape to create a lamp. Click on Add New Device to add a new PLC. Create a new tag folder named Lamp Control. Create a tag with the function of turning the lamp on and off. The tag's format is bool, which means the tag only has two states, on or off. For the HMI to connect to the PLC, you should not use the physical memory area I, which is only for input. Instead, you should use the M memory area or use a data block. Here I use M10.0. Continue creating an output lamp tag named Q. I usually use the character Q when creating an output tag. The tag's format is bool. The tag address is Q0.0. Then open OB1 to start programming. Use a normally open contact for the button and an output for the lamp. Click on the tag folder and drag the button tag to the normally open contact. Drag the Q tag to the output. Now, the Q output will turn on according to the M10.0 contact. To connect the PLC and HMI we open device and network. Drag the HMI to the PLC to create the connection. Go to connection and continue dragging from HMI to PLC. Now, we have successfully created the connection. Back to the HMI screen. For the on button in the press property, use the set bit function. Click on the tag folder created on the PLC and a list of tags will appear. Drag the tag to the red position. Do the same for the off button. Use the reset bit function, which means setting the tag value to zero. For the lamp, open the Animation tab and add the function to change the lamp's color. When the tag is 0, keep the default color. When the tag is 1, set the lamp color to green. Drag and drop the Q tag into this position. Open the PLC's main program and click the Simulation button to run the simulation. Click online to view the circuit status in online mode. Try to set the M10.0 bit value to 1. Now, the Q output is activated. Set the M10.0 tag to 0. The Q output is also off. Now, simulate the HMI. Back to the home screen and click simulation. When the on button is pressed, the lamp turns on. When the off button is pressed, the lamp turns off. 
I will monitor the status of both the PLC and HMI simultaneously. Now, all functions are operating correctly. We have successfully connected the PLC and HMI through the simulation function. In the next lesson, we will connect to the actual PLC and HMI. Thank you.